So, if you're a subscriber, thank you. And if you came from TikTok, subscribe. And if you just saw this video randomly, subscribe because there's some crazy stuff that sometimes you can post on ya. Anyway, so I take it that you came on for that. What does it look like? I've got a little bit like in the back. Anyway, so, so uh, anyway, the point is this one of the things that the, the Richard do, okay, so sit, one of the things that the Richard do is they take a lot of risk, right? But the risk that they take is minimal compared to what they have, but they take a lot of so, as an example, let's say you've got person A that has a million, right? And you've got person B who's got 10,000, okay? Now, person A who has a million can invest in a thousand businesses, okay? And out of the thousand, nine, 998 can fail. And two can succeed. But if the two that succeed, a thousand X, he will have gone from a million to two million. Take that in for a while. So all he needs, and this is kind of like venture capitalism, this is kind of how they work. Um, but we've spoken about that a bit for easy equities and, and the fact that they want to introduce that. One of the reasons why that this is so crazy. But if a thousand X is only a two percent success rate, you'll double your Here's the crazy part. If you've got 10,000, you can only get 8 to fail. Now, if you've got a 2% success rate, you can't take 10,000 and put 1,000 into 10 companies. If you're, you'd have to have a 20% success rate in order to, to get the same returns. So, the point that I'm making with the whole why did Richard get richer, no matter what system you use to try and fight it, it eventually comes down to a simple question. How much risk can I take? Who's making ten thousand? If they take the same risk, but they lower in the amount of money. So in other words, by ratio, they doing the same thing. So instead of putting a thousand in to uh, a thousand companies, they putting in uh, like a hundred bucks into a thousand companies. And same situation. If only two of them out of the a thousand, you know, two of them out of the thousand, hundred x, he'll double his money as well. So you'll go from 10,000 to 20,000. So the point though then goes down to this one. They're taking a lot more risk. I'm not saying go out there and take that risk. I'm saying you need to realize that that's why they say things like this. If you if, if you have five companies out of the thousand, which they accept that out of the thousand companies, not even half of them are going to make it. That's something that they've accepted. It's a company that's going a thousand x. Most companies fail. So the idea is, I can have a ninety five percent fail rate, but if I've got a two percent, at least a one percent plus success rate, it has to be times. That's the concept. of that actually failing right so you've got two opportunities the one is i'm gonna have a high failure rate but the low percent rate is going to return everything and then some and if i've got the high pass rate high success rate sorry not pass rate high success rate then returns may not be as big but they're still gonna make sense so an example of that once again someone comes in and they're like look um I'm not looking to, to not sleep at night. So what I'm going to do is, instead of putting a thousand rand into a thousand companies, I'm going to be very, very picky and I'm going to put, let's uh, say, a hundred thousand into ten companies. But I'm going to be super strict on those ten companies. And I'm not expecting a thousand percent return. I'm good with like a ten or twenty percent return. Right. So that's a different strategy altogether. But you need to understand these things 
also realize you are richer and richer. And that's basically so. Some of them say I'll do 100,000 for 10 very strict companies, and others do something like I'll do 1,000 for 1,000 random companies, and I'm hoping that I get a 2% um, success rate. So that's essentially what's happening. What you need to do is you need to figure out which of those you are. In other instances, it's also just, and then you've got the world code situation where he's just like, I just do cash flow. So that's all I need. So someone else might go out and be like, I'll open up a tech shop. And so open up a tech shop that's going to create cash flow. It's going to take that cash flow and open up another tech shop. And next thing you know, this person got like five tech shops with great cash flow. Right. And obviously, then you kind of grow from there. It's a matter of figuring out what your, what your, again, I keep saying this to a lot of people. It's a matter of what investment strategy you're following and what lifestyle you need. So some people need positive cash flow to survive. Some people are just like, I don't need positive cash flow. I'm good. I just need the growth. Some people are like, they need a mix, but you need to figure out which of those you are. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I don't want to make this a long video. Thanks for the thumbs up. If you haven't, click the thumbs up. Yeah, I don't know how to call it like that. Thumbs up, click it, um, subscribe, do all of it, just.